Hello, YouTube viewers. Welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. And let's get up to the ancient tech lab, like right now, because there's a thunderstorm. Lightning storm coming. And, yeah, thank you for telling me stuff that you... that your peers have told me a jillion times before. Okay, Blue Blood, follow the path like you are supposed to. You know, a lot of these trees and rock formations I've been seeing have resembled guardians, and I've been like, oh, what's that? Oh, it's just a tree. But, you know, it's been kind of startling me from time to time, even though I haven't said anything yet. Oh my... Are you kidding me? You jackass, why are you keeping this thing around? Okay, okay, okay. I can handle this. Of course, I have to save scum. But I can handle this. And let's get a one-handed weapon, just so that I don't get confused. Okay. This should be a good enough distance. Wrong arrow. Over here, dude. Okay, 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 okay. Oh! Okay. I'm not doing very good here. Okay. Um. Yeah. Safe scumming. Ugh, I have lost my touch, viewers. I have just totally lost my touch. to another guardian. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Pay attention. This stupid thing. Okay. I really have lost my touch. It's like I've forgotten the timing of how to do that. It's not like I've forgotten the timing of how to do that. I have forgotten the timing of how to do that. Okay. Oh, 
No core up there. And there's a skull cave down there. Hmm. Well, I don't care right now. Right now, I'm trying to go here. like there's a lot of broken down guardians here. And here comes a lightning storm. Okay. Time to seek some shelter. Walk him inside. Can I walk him inside? Blood stop. Looks like no. He should be fine. side of the building. Okay, so, um... What was the name of the other guy? Robbie? It's... And... It's... Hey, you! What are you doing here? Hmm... you're an acquaintance of Robbie's. I can't talk to you. Trade secrets, you know. Okay. I bet I am an acquaintance of Robbie, even though I don't remember him at all. Are you the one called Link? Yes. Hmm? Hmm. That's too bad. If you were the legendary Link, there would be something important I'd need to tell you. But how can I determine with full certainty whether or not you are the true hero? Yes, how indeed. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, yes. If you can show me the wounds your body suffered 100 years ago, that should prove you are truly Link. Um, okay, how? Um... Okay? Yes, the number of scars on your body, just as I remember. Most seem to have healed. They do line up with the scars I know you got during the Great Calamity 100 years ago. Hmm. Yes, I acknowledge you as the real Link, so let us begin again. I am the lead guardian researcher and director of the Akala Ancient Tech Lab. Dr. Robbie! 
In any case, I really am impressed that you made it all the way out to this rather remote location. Did you perchance meet Pura and borrow her power? I met a child. <laughs> huh? Pura? A child? What? She really has a kid? Hmm. Or do you mean that Pura aged backwards and now she is, and she is now a child? Yeah, Pura got younger. Huh? Are you certain? Hmm. So she's as crazy as ever. Okie dokie. Knowing her, I'm guessing she screwed up some experiment. Hmm, hmm, yes. Typical. Let us return to the subject at hand, hmm? Did you know that the Calamity is regaining its power? Yes, I was told by Auntie Claus, who was the uh, king of Hyrule way back in the day. Hmm, huh, I see. Then I don't need to tell you my story, huh? No, please, do tell me. Hmm, huh, yes, I see. In that case... The goal of our Shika Research Lab is simple, really. We aim to destroy the calamity that has endured across time, to rid Hyrule of its dark influence, and above all, to rescue Princess Zelda, who is now a prisoner of the calamity. We have worked ourselves to the bone conducting our research. For a time, I feared I'd pass before we could prevail. However, you, Link, managed to awaken before this old sack of flesh gave out. That means the time is now! Hmm, yes, yes. You, now is the time to join forces with the Shika, yes? We must destroy the calamity! Yeah, let's do it. Yes, that is correct. You and I are going to join forces to put an end to the calamity. And on that note, sorry for the long preamble, but I'd like you to provide some, I'd like to provide you with some ancient soldier gear. Hmm? Hmm? Did you catch all that? Cherry, um, the ancient oven creates ancient soldier gear, but I fear she's out of sorts at the moment. Hmm, I'm afraid someone will have to bring the blue flame from the ancient furnace again. Okay, you don't mean the ancient furnace all the way back in Hateno Village, do you? Okay. So that's where it is, huh? On Tumley Heights. Mm hmm. Getting there will be the easy part. I can see. Well, it would be the easy part, but I'm going to have to take Blue Blood with me. The faster I make it back, the better. Of course, first I need to wait out this blasted thunderstorm. Water link, please. There we go. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking maybe there's a Korok up here. Sure enough. I really need to find Hestu. Oh. That is a maze up there. Do you see that? When the lightning goes off, you can see the walls of the maze. That's pretty neat. Okay, well, now that I'm uh, apparently befriended with uh, Robbie there, 
I can talk to her. You look good. And check it out. How was that? I figured I'd give an impression of Hateno Ancient Tech Lab's director, Pura, a shot. Maybe it was a bit much for the first time meeting you, though. Um, yeah. Link, don't worry about it. It's all okay. So, what do you need from me? And, you know, tell me about yourself. Hey, yeah, I'm Jaren. Check it out. <laughs> I'm an amateur scholar of ancient history. To be honest, I've been focusing a lot of my research on shrines. Oh, that reminds me. Link, there's somewhere you need to go. Um, the left eye of Skull Lake. I know there's a shrine there, but it's a challenge to get to it. The left eye of Skull Lake is higher up. The right one is lower down. If you run into Kilton, you're on the wrong eye. Have you got any other questions? Well, now I know where Kilton is. So, tell me about Robbie. Robbie is one of the researchers of ancient civilizations. He was studying guardians at Hyrule Castle a hundred years ago. Oh, Robbie. We're half a century apart age-wise, but we never let that get in the way. He and I are married. Really? You're married? Yes, indeed. Together we run the Akala Ancient Tech Lab. I've got a son as well. Have you got any other questions? Your son? That's right, I've got one son. His name is Grante. Have you seen him in your travels? No, I can't say that I have. Really? Well, if you see him, be nice to him, okay? Have you got any other questions? Nope. See you later. The Skull's Eye. Alright, Blue Blood. Hold on! <laughs> and how am I going to get the um, fire back here when I don't have a proper torch? I know I saw one in here. Okay. Sorry, Knight's Broadsword, but you gotta go. Actually. Yeah, I should keep the prop I should keep a proper weapon equipped until I get to the fire. All the way back to the stable. Uh oh. Excuse me. Precisely. Just get moving. I 
I should be able to outrun them. Even if they do see me. And choo choos. Terrific. And I guess those things are more just are more annoying than dangerous. Blue blood, stop, will ya? Drop this slug, blue blood. Goblins all over the bloody place. And what's that dark colored thing right there? Oh, it's just another crow. Okay. You know, now that I take a good look at it, this uh, source of fire looks an awful lot like the main control center in the Divine Beast. This is the slope you came up last time. Please cooperate again. Thank you. Good horse. Nice horse. All right, let's get out of here. Stables. <laughs> and I set a bush on fire.
And lit the lantern for good old what's her name there. Alright, blue blood. Let's hurry on back. You can outrun those wolves. A good fast horse like you. And since I took care of that ruined guardian, I don't have to worry about it either. fast travel here anytime I want. Alright, Robbie. Now what? Open for business. Hey, hey, beep. Familiar name missing. Insert materials and rupees. Receive ancient equipment in exchange. Oh, now that's good. I can make lots of these ancient arrows, which are supposed to be really good at destroying guardians. Ancient blade saw? Oh, wow! Unfortunately, it looks like I can only make one piece. Because I don't have enough ancient cores to do otherwise. Or ancient gears, for that matter. But wow, ancient blade saw. That's just amazing. I mean, look at that thing! Thanks for your time. Come again, whoop. Familiar name missing. You! Link! Listen up, hmm? My darling Cherry is back to normal. Such is the power of my love. My love made Cherry well again! No, the furnace is lit. Mm. Oh, well, thank you. Yes, quite. Now then, please take this as a gift of my gratitude, now that Cherry is fixed. More ancient arrows, yay. Daggers created using ancient technology being repurposed for use as arrows, extremely effective against guardians. They're made using ancient Sheikah technology. With the addition of my upgrades, they have morphed into anti-calamity weapons, so to speak. Needless to say, they are an incredibly powerful type of ancient soldier gear. Then, if you didn't need to say it, why did you say it? Ah, well. I'd like to call them Ancient Arrows! In addition to Ancient Arrows, Cherry can make all kinds of Ancient Soldier gear. If you're looking to acquire some, give your Ancient Materials and Rupees to Cherry. Rupees? Did you hear that? Ah, forgive me, Link. Ever since the fall of Hyrule Castle, we haven't had much in the way of funds for our research. That's why I thought you might be willing to help us out. With rupees. Lots of them. I beg of you! Then let's do it, huh? The two of us, as soon as possible. Yes. Let's... Conquer the Calamity! Hmm? Okay. Now then, I have a few things to do. <laughs> Wonder.
wonder, if I light all of these things, do I get anything for it? Um, and I missed. Okay. There we go. And <laughs> I'm burning the grass down as I go. Yeah. You know what? No. Not worth the trouble. Alright, let's see. So, next I want to go here. I think it's pretty important that I go here. Because the painter said that it, uh, the scene in that picture is almost due west of the stable. And this is pretty closely due west. So, I'm going to check that out. Oh, but first I have to talk to this lady down here to see if she's happy and is willing to give me something in exchange for lighting the torch. <coughs> oh, blood moon, of course. Tum dee dum. Is there anything in all the world as pretty as the blue flame? I'm thinking no. Don't put it out. I hadn't even dreamed of it. And the blood moon. Fantastic. Okay. So. Skip. You know, normally, I'm not the type to skip cutscenes, but seriously, we've seen that one so many times. Okay. So, I don't want to follow the path too much further. go out this way. Oh, another one of those flying guardian things. So, is this the place? Looks like it. The Spring of Power. Aho! Uh -huh. I recognize that name. Oh. Right. Since this is the Spring of Power... Okay, I've had uh, two other dragons so far. There's the, uh, the Lightning Dragon and the Ice Dragon. I'll bet there's a Fire Dragon. And I have to get one of his scales and drop it in here. Don't I? Is that a bird's nest hovering in mid-air? Not sure what it looks like. Oh. Pfft. Graphical glitch. The tree just hadn't been drawn in yet. You have done well to find this spring. Offer Din Rall's scale received from the Red Spear to the Spring of Power. I, Goddess Hylia, will guide you. Okay, but there's a memory around here, isn't there? Up oh, there it is. Let's see what else is down here. Oh, a tunnel. through which there are flying guardians, so I don't want to go this way. Oh, 
All right, well, let's recall. And Ling takes a good look around, pulls out his camera. And suddenly remembers. Yeah, Zelda did say in another memory that she'd been to all three springs. Power, courage, and wisdom. I come seeking help regarding this power that has been handed down over time. Prayer will awaken my power to seal Ganon away. Or so I've been told all my life. And yet, Grandmother heard them, the voices from the spirit realm. And Mother said her own power would develop within me. But I don't hear or feel anything. Father has told me time and time again. He says, quit wasting your time playing at being a scholar. Curse you. I spent every day of my life dedicated to praying. I've pleaded to the spirits tied to the ancient gods. And still the holy powers have proven deaf to my devotion. Please just tell me. What is it? <laughs> All right. Well. So, yeah. Got to find this other dragon. And presumably shoot him with my bow to get one of his scales. You know, this this one, the golden bow from the Gerudo, it says engineered to strike distant targets. So that means I should have a longer range with this one. Which should help when dealing with those uh, dragons and their scales and such. Anyway, let's be getting out of here. I imagine I could climb the waterfall with the Zor gear, but yeah. Any Kuroks around here? Hmm. see anything that might hide a Korok. Okay. Well. So yeah, that painter guy was correct. This was the spring of power. With another of Zelda's cutscenes. Ooh, wild horses. What is that over there? Oh, that's just the stables I came from. What color are these horses? Eh. Colors I already have, from what I can see. And there's the shrine that, uh, what's her name, the Sheikah lady must have been talking about. Alright, well, down to Skull Lake. Uh-oh. Yeah, 
I'm not doing very well. Oh, I didn't mean to earn myself some pork. challenging. Why am I still wearing the climbing gear? Alright, blue blood. that battle against the bad guys? I know I did. Oh, more Zapshire. Well, that uh, shrine's pretty high up, isn't it? I might not be able to climb that high. Hmm... Oh dear, what's that? A Lionel! Ah! Oh no, wrong button! Yeah, yeah. Come on, blue blood! Another Lionel! Terrific! I guess they're not solitary beings. Well, they weren't in the original Legend of Zelda. Okay, so yeah, that shrine is pretty high up, but I'm getting pretty high up also. Here. Ancient Spring. Well, I do need more of those now. What with now being able to make ancient weapons and armor. But what I really need are ancient cores. Which, it seems, can only be obtained from actual active guardians. Okay, so the Sheikah sensor is going off, which is kind of redundant because I can see the shrine right there. All this time playing, my thumb still gets out of position and pushes the wrong button.
Okay, what's that? This kind of resembles a Koro puzzle. Nope, that's not a magnetic rock. Alright, where do I need to send that rock in order to get a Koro to pop out? Well, now that I take a look at it, just any old place ought to do. I want to get the rock underneath it. Ho <laughs> ho. Now that rock went a long way. so far that I can't even see where it went. Okay. Well, now... Wait a second. What's it doing back? Okay, game. That was a mean trick. I can make it to the top of the uh, eye socket from here. Oh, there, it looks like there's a coral circle down there. Well, that can wait. I'm going to the shrine first. So yeah, I'm not sure I can make it to the top of the eye socket from here, but if my aim is even just good enough, I should be more than high enough to climb the rest of the way. Yeah, there we go. This one was easy. And let's see, the other eye, which I think is right there, is where I'll find this uh, Killian dude. So after I'm finished up here, I just go down there. And then I warp back to the stable, have them pick up Blue Blood and show the photograph of Killian to that uh, one guy who thinks he's kind of shady. Yeah, for a shrine quest, this one was pretty easy. I mean, granted the quest was she told me where it was and I had to get there. So, it's not like it was any kind of challenging puzzle, but still. Oh, really? This is just a blessing shrine? Huh. It is. Okay. It's not like it was that hard to get here. A flame blade, eh? So now I have a flame blade and a f great flame blade. Huh. You know what? I'm going to equip this and use it till it breaks. Which shouldn't take very long because Boko equipment is pretty fragile. A hero rises to right the wrongs of Hyrule. There wasn't really much wrong here to right, though. I mean, I just 
climbed up to the top of this pillar. After starting from pretty high up and flying across. Not really a huge challenge. No well, thanks, dude. Are we done here? Because I think we're done here. Okay. Now to drop down. Oh, but wait a minute. There was a Koro circle somewhere around here. Where was it? I don't know. Okay, never mind. So as I was saying, time to drop down. Is this a normal lake? It is, it's a normal lake. Alright, where's this Killian dude? I'm on the other eyeball, but he's not here. Okay, uh, let me rephrase that. It's not really normal because it has those huge plants, purplish plants down there, but it's not poisonous water or one of those uh, bottomless bogs. And no, he's not over there. Hmm. Okay. Well, there was this one guy. Maybe it was the same guy who was talking about him wheeling a. Uh, a cart around somewhere. So let's go back up. He was. Someone was talking about Killian wheeling a cart around during the night. And then. The Sheikah lady back at Robbie's uh, lab. Was talking about. How he was on the other eye socket. And why is it raining? The weather. Device says that it should be sunny. Okay, I guess that answers that. It is sunny now. I'm sure I saw a Korok circle. Ooh. Hmm. I don't have many weapons left that can handle this. Got a ruby. And a bunch of amber and some rock salt and flint. Alright, now somewhere up here, as I was preparing to fly over there, I'm sure I saw a Korok circle. Over there somewhere. I'm sure I saw one. But now I don't see it. Uh oh. Bokoblin camp. Ah well, I should be far enough away. Ha! There it is.
And there's a rock right underneath the blasted monster camp. Okay. My hero's work is never done. Okay, there's some black book opens over there. That doesn't bode well. It's almost night. They'll be falling asleep pretty soon. In this light, I can't tell. Is that a blue Bokoblin or a black one? There on the right. Looks like a blue one. But I'm not absolutely certain. Like there's still five of the bastards left. Hmm. No, not five, four. Looks like there's still four of them left. If only that rock, we're not right in view of their camp. <laughs> okay, well, that wasn't too bad. Just got rid of the lookout and then took the rock when the rest of them were not paying attention. It's a little roll and then I'll follow it and... Okay. I gotta find Hestu again. I really gotta find him. I have over 70 of these blasted seeds now. Alright, well... I think it's actually about time to cut the video. So let's go back to the stable. Have them fetch blue blood. Get a good night's sleep, and then I'm going to cut the video. I found a total of 89 seeds, and I have 72 of them in inventory. That's... That's ridiculous. <laughs> it really is. Hello? Welcome to East Akala Stable, the premier stable of the East. By the way, good sir, the outside is crunchy while the inside is chewy. Take one bite and your energy will go through the roof. Go on, try one of our Akala buns. They're a delicacy straight from the East Akala Stable. Sounds yummy. Thank you so much. Oh, one thing to note, Akala buns go bad fast since they're made of fresh ingredients. So you'll have to eat it here, that way we can ensure it's quality. Is that okay? Yeah, sure. Thank you so much. That'll be ten rupees, please. Here you go. <laughs> Thanks for your business. Now then, close your eyes and open your mouth wide. Now just munch and crunch. And down the hatch it goes. So, how was it? Amazing, right? Come back soon. Gave me a bit of bonus stamina, it did. 
Okay, so. Go grab blue blood for me. Okay. So, um... Yeah, I really don't want to spend the night, do I? Because I want... When the night falls, I want to go back to the, uh... Skull Lake and see if I can find this Killian guy. Love is the answer. Didn't know you were a romantic beetle. You know, I was just thinking about you. Wow, you have a rugged rhino beetle in your inventory. Beetle just loves rugged rhino beetles. Can I take it off your hands? I'll give you something in return, of course. How does a tough elixir sound? Yeah, sure. Oh no, your inventory is full. It's a real shame, but I guess we'll have to give up on this for now. Anyway, back to business. What are you looking for? Or are you selling? Yeah, I want to sell. I know I was saving up orb, but I've gotten so much of it. Let's see. I still need some opals. I guess I could sell a few topazes. And sure, a few rubies also. Alright. So yeah. I need to go back to Skull Lake and see about finding Killian. But that'll be next time on Let's Play Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Thanks for watching to this point, YouTube viewers, and I hope you continue. And I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.